every calculus student learns, for two differentiable functions, the product rule states this. Basically, you take the derivative of one times the other, plus the derivative of the other times the one. This is relatively straightforward and extremely useful. Well, what would you do with this? Here's a product of three functions. How would you take its derivative? Well, on the one hand, we could use the product rule all the same. It's just we're going to have a product rule within a product rule, a product rule exception, if you will, and you will. Except if you learn the generalized product rule. Because if you look at the result from this triple product rule and the regular product rule, you might notice some patterns. In fact, it's the same pattern. It's basically take the derivative of one, times it by the others, keep doing that till you go through the whole list and add them all up. And no one ever taught me this, so I thought I would show you. Here is the generalized product rule for n functions. Now, I realize that this is kind of a mouthful and probably not what you want to read, but it does work, and we can prove it by induction. In fact, the base case, n equals 2, is just the regular product rule. I won't verify this, but you're welcome to verify that for yourself using any real analysis textbook. Here's where the fun begins, our induction step. For mathematical induction, we assume our formula holds true for n equals k. Basically, somewhere out there in k land, our formula holds true. What we'd like to show is that this implies our formula is true for k plus 1, basically the next entry. Proof by induction works very similar to setting up a row of dominoes. The base case is like knocking down the first domino. The induction step basically says, well, if I knock down any domino, it will knock down the next one. That's all we're doing here. So we should consider the next domino, the next domino being the k plus 1 domino. Thus, we have k plus 1 functions in our imaginary product rule scenario. And to be honest with you, this is where my own eyes start to roll back in my head just because of all the notation. Uh, you're welcome to verify it for yourself, but uh, suffice it to say, it, it freaking works out. Go ahead, try it with this. Let's differentiate this product of many functions. Just take the derivative of each one individually, that shouldn't be too, too bad, and then multiply them all together in such this way, and add them all up. You know, seeing patterns like this in calculus where simple rules extend into something more powerful is exactly what makes math beautiful. The thing about this generalized product rule is it doesn't really help for more than one differentiation. What if I want to take many derivatives of a product? How should we handle that? Well, maybe this video can help you out. I'll see you in that one.